Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am here to chat with you for a little bit. You know, I was thinking, those of you who bitched so much when I went from mostly videos like this to doing tons of crafty videos, specifically quilting and the crumb quilt adventure, I got so many people complaining, you don't do your regular videos anymore, all you care about is sewing now. I hope you're happy that I haven't been sewing as much. <laughs> I don't hear anybody saying, oh, I'm so happy you stopped sewing now. It's because most of those people left. They left. They didn't like my crumb quilt adventure. And one thing I always want to point out to other people who create videos for YouTube, it goes to show that you can't judge by what you're doing um, and the feedback you get as much as you just have to go with your gut. I don't think I explained that right. Let's put it this way. I lose a lot of subscribers and most people would say, well, it's because you have a filthy mouth. You know, people aren't going to like hearing swearing, especially if you're going to be sewing and things like that. But I lost my most subscribers when I was doing a crumb quilting adventure. And I don't hear anybody saying, well, you should stop sewing. You know, people don't like that. So it doesn't matter what you do. People are going to leave. There's always going to be an audience for what you do. And there's always going to be an audience that's going to say, I don't like this turn she took and I'm going elsewhere. So um, that crumb quilt adventure was a very good experience for me. I did gain a ton of new subscribers for it because I know a lot of you are going to say, oh, that's where I found you. And yes, I did get a lot of subscribers, but I lost a shitload of subscribers and I got so much feedback in emails and messages and in comments about how disappointed people were and you, you know, um, used to be funny and do funny things and now you don't care about your peanut gallery anymore. It's just stuff like that. So, it's always good. There's always some bad, but it's always good. But this is not why I'm here to talk to you. I will save that kind of stuff for the YouTube stats and other stuff. I should have called it YouTube stats and other shit. Don't you think that would have been better? <laughs> but stats and stuff, that flows better than stats and shit. See, that didn't work. I actually want to answer just a, a question that I have gotten quite often about what I watch and what shows do I like and what do I think of the new seasons of them. So because I'm not up to recording, and I'll tell you why, yesterday was mega stress day. Mega stress. I had anxiety that I, I was like I would do anything for a Xanax. Give me a Xanax. I haven't had a Xanax in a very long time. I don't have any, or I would have taken one or two. <laughs> I just tried to chill. I went to bed, but I could not fall asleep early, so I didn't get much sleep. I have complete hangover head. It feels just like I partied all night, just from the lack of sleep. So I was able to work, but I wasn't able to really record. I didn't want to start, you know, a sewing project or whatever. But, I, you know, my day was filled with things that I'm, you know, I'm happy that I, I got to do. I did some behind-the-scenes stuff on my blog and things like that. So that was all pretty good. But now, because I want a video for you guys, I thought I'm going to sit down and chat with you a little bit. And we're going to talk TV for a tiny little bit. Before I get to that, I do want to uh, let you guys know that I put a quilt top. My hair, hair dangling. I put a quilt top. It's not a quilt, it's a quilt top um, on eBay. So the link will be down below if you want to go check that out. It's auction format. I put it up there today. It will end on Sunday. Let's see. Today is May 8, 2018. And the auction will end on May 13, 2018. So if you're watching this in the future, that's done now. It starts at... One penny with free shipping. The last I checked, it was like to, up to $10.50 or something like that. So 
I, you know, it's, I used it for a video, and I don't need those quilt tops, so I have to get on the ball. I'd like to have something on eBay every week. There's no reason I can't do that. I have plenty of stuff to, to move out of this house, so I'm going to try to be better at that. Um, but anyway, you can go check that out if you want. The other thing, quickly, for those of you who are into the fabric frenzy or don't know or whatever, first of all, you want to join my Peanut Gallery Facebook group. The link is always down below and in the pinned comment. It's going to be May 26, 2018. It's a day long and into the night fabric sale, and I used to host it on my blog. Last time I did it on eBay. This time I think there's going to be a mix. I want to see how it's going to go on my blog again because I I can't believe that all that overselling is something that's always going to... St I don't know, but we did test it, didn't we? Anyway, I'm going to put some things on my blog and I will put things that I have hopefully enough of so that they don't oversell and I would stop it before it gets to the to the max whatever I'm going to try to figure it out and I'll talk about it more but I just want to let you guys know who are into the frenzy or who are new to the frenzy that it's going to be different this time because I wasn't as stressed out as I liked to be for the eBay only one it was very kicked back and relaxed and I like to uh have that kind of awesome, you know, thrill ride where it's like, ah, and I didn't get that. So <laughs> I have to add into the frenzy part. And I may try to do something special for patrons. So, you know, they might get a link that nobody else gets and get to buy something that nobody else does. I don't know. I'm just going to play around with it. And again, I also want to bring back my eBay auctions. I'd like to have that on a steady, ongoing basis. So I'm going to try really hard to do that. Um, one more thing, and then we're going to TV land. I mentioned Patreon. I set up a like a directory on my blog. I wanted to have just one post with all the titles of all my videos, and uh, but it won't let me do that. It 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 uh, breaks the blog when I get to so many links. So I had to break it up, in, and I'm doing it like quarterly. So I'm gonna give you the link down below. You you can go to my blog and just scroll through the titles. If you're curious to see what is on Patreon, you'll get an idea just from the titles. And, you know, geez, I, I'm over 80 or 85 videos there. If you join at the $3 level, you have instant access to all those videos. That's a lot of viewing pleasure. I do believe. Uh, but anyway, go check that out and just look at the titles and see what you like, see what you don't like, and it'll give you a chance. And also, for those of you who are already patrons, I think you're going to like that feature too. At least it gives you a chance to maybe rewatch something without... Patreon is just messy inside. You have to just scroll forever. There's like no organization. So I thought I would do that. So, um, it, especially when somebody new comes in, I'm always asked, Darlene, how do I see your videos? I don't know what to do, you know? So I can send you to this and you can see all the titles and I just hope that helps you guys out. So I want to let you know that. Go check it out. Even if you have no interest in being a patron, you might want to go check out my titles just to see, get an idea of what I do over there. All right, TV land. I'm waiting right now for Roseanne. It's going to be on in about 45 minutes. That's probably the only non-reality show that I've watched lately. I haven't watched like a sitcom or been attached to that in a very long time. So Roseanne, of course I watched her right from the first episode of her previous seasons. And I just can't believe it has been that long. And I think everybody looks so good on the show. You know, Darlene and Becky, they don't even look like they've aged. You know, it's just, I, I at first though, the first couple episodes I was like, kind of like, Mm. But I knew, I said, I have to stick with it. It's, you know, it's new and it'll come around. And I really like it. I really enjoy it. I love Roseanne. And I love all the characters on there. And I love that there are so many of them. And I cannot believe that Estelle, is it Estelle Parson or Parsons, that plays their mother. She plays their mother. She's 92 and she looks fucking good. I mean, she just 
has so much energy. I'm going to double check on that. Whoops, piece of paper. Hang on. Well, I'm glad I checked. I'm always forever looking up people and their ages to tell my mother. So, Because my mother will be like, how old is so-and-so now? So I mixed her up. She's 90. So she's a youngin. <laughs> yeah. But still, my God, to be acting like that at her age. And she's just so vivacious. So... And it's so cool that she has the opportunity to still be acting. You know, what? this is what I love about the show and these reboots, although I've not watched another reboot. Uh, I've never watched Will and Grace. Is the reboot even still on? I don't hear anything about it. Never watched it. I tried to a couple times. It just it wasn't funny to me. I, I don't know. I didn't like it. And another thing I don't care for is that's so popular. What is it? The one that... Uh, Darlene's husband, ex-husband, or estranged husband is on. The Big Bang Theory. It just does, it doesn't do anything for me. I'm not into sitcoms anymore, but I gave Roseanne a try because I did like it back in the day. I used to watch sitcoms then. There was more sitcoms then. And uh, now I'm more of like a reality TV junkie. So I do like Roseanne very much, and I hope it lasts. I love that these people all have a chance to work again. I just really like that. Okay, so let me start at the days of the week. Right now we have, I'm going to start with Monday because that's where my week starts. Mondays, right now, Dancing with the Stars. Major disappointment because we like it when it's a regular season, this is four weeks that, <laughs> and I don't mind that it's all athletes. It's that I, I can't get to know anybody within four weeks. It's already half over. So, you know, and, you know, it's just too many eliminations all at once. And, you know, so my mother too, you know, it's her favorite show by far, her favorite show. But she likes it when there's at least an actor or somebody or an actress that she knows. And so, of course, we know Tanya Harding. Uh, that's the only one that we know. I, I mean, I know a couple of others just, you know, by knowing them from the Olympics and stuff. But, you know, it's not, it's not, um is exciting and fun, and uh, I just was so sad. I would be totally okay with the cast if we could have, you know, 10 weeks of it and not four. So that's a bummer. I don't know if that means that they're on their way out or whatever, but I hope they have a full season this fall. And then, okay, so Tuesdays, I have Roseanne. Wednesdays, Survivor. I love this season. I, I really do. And um, yeah, I'm terrible with the names. Now, Skylar would be able to tell you, Every name of every player and who likes who and who's friends and who's not. <laughs> she, she is so into that. Um, I mean, not Survivor in particular, but when she watches a, any kind of reality show, she just gets to know everyone right away and she has a very good memory. I don't. Um, I like, I'm going to call him the Italian guy and his buddy. I like both of them. I was very glad when uh, Surfer Boy or whatever... <laughs> muscle man. He wasn't really a muscle man. Chris, was that his name? I was glad to see him out. I love it when they do blind sides. And I just, I'm just very interested in it. And uh, I, I always have been, well, there was a time there, way back, way back, I started watching season one and then I had drifted for a couple seasons. I would have it on, but not like really be paying attention. But I've been pretty hooked to Survivor, you know, ever since. And I think every reality show that I've ever watched, I've stuck with, except for those like housewives. I mean, I used to dabble with that and that's just, ah, uh, I just don't care for those kinds of shows at all. Okay. So Wednesdays is Survivor. Thursday, when Project Runway is on, I'm addicted to that. But you know what? They had Project Runway All-Stars a little while ago. And I ended up not seeing the end. I'm going to have to see if I can find it. It was kind of blasé. I don't care for the All-Stars as much as just the regular seasons. And I absolutely preferred the earlier seasons. Sometimes now it's just, I don't know, it's just too over the top. But I still will watch it always just for the sake of seeing fabric. But, you know, they go to mood and there's a gazillion pieces of fabric there and they'll you know come with plain gray oh that was a lovely choice <laughs> i would have to be in there 
for a year just to figure out what I wanted to buy. But love runway. Okay, Fridays is not usually anything. I used to watch Shark Tank, but I think that's on Sundays now. See, when they changed days, I, st I stopped watching it. Uh, Fridays, I do like to watch 2020 if it's something I'm interested in. Saturdays, nothing. Usually, we try to watch some crazy movie on Lifetime or something, and I hate those movies. They're just all so the same. It's always the same thing. And my mother, too, she's tired of them. My mother loves suspense and things like that. She even likes some horror, but, you know, it, she's just like me. It's like the same thing and so predictable. A family moves into the house and they have a dog. Dog will get killed. <laughs> Because all these Lifetime movies must have a dead pet. If there's a pet in the family, it's going to get killed. And, you know, just crazy. So, um, Sundays. Okay, Sundays. American Idol. I was very glad American Idol came back. I do like it, but I am not as in love with it, again, as the beginning seasons. But I like it enough. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know. It's hard to... It's hard to say exactly, like, what things I like better and what things I don't like better. You know, I didn't think I'd ever survive losing those judges. But that didn't really, you know, Simon and Paula and Randy. But that didn't really bother me all that much because there's only so many times that you can hear somebody be insulted or so many times that they have just the really bad, you know, the people that are, you know, singing like, la, 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 you know, doing stupid things on purpose just so Simon could roll his eyes or whatever. You know, they used to do a lot of that at the beginning, and they don't do that anymore. I mean, it's just, they'll show a few things really quick, but, you know, they try to pick on the good singers. But the other thing is that I don't care for all the stuff that's going on on the stage. I liked it when it was more like just the person and not like all kinds of flashing screens behind them and lights and full band right from the get-go. I don't know. It just, it's kind of like loud and noisy to me. And I hate the fucking songs they pick. Pick a song, a real song, like something from 1980. <laughs> So, um, I love it when they sing a song I actually recognize, and, you know, some of the oldies, I just love that. Half the songs, you know, it's just, I don't care if it's a song I don't know. I just would like it to have some kind of a melody, something that I could remember, that I could, you know, possibly sing along to or want to dance to. But nine times out of ten, the song choices suck, and it's, you know, kind of what makes me like a person or not. So for this season, I gotta tell you, I just don't care for Cade, is that his name? Long-haired guy. I just don't think his voice is that good. I find that he's constantly off-key, and it's like, I don't know, he, I, I just don't buy into the whole rocker thing. You know, of course I love that they're all there. I love, and I, I want them to all be happy. I'm not trying to, like, put them down. It's just not my personal taste. I loved Katie, but she is like flake to the max. And I liked it to an extent, but then sometimes it was just like oddly uncomfortable, like when she'll like, you know, whole body hug someone. I mean, <laughs> it's like, but she's gone. And I didn't like either song that she picked. I don't care that she screwed up on the lyrics. I, I don't care about that at all. But I just, uh, I don't know. Um, I didn't care for Journey. So again, beautiful and looks like a star. But I, there was like no personality in her face. Didn't care for her song choices. Uh, also, I don't care for Gabby. I would love her to pieces. Again, if it was more just quiet. And I don't mean the, the song quiet, but like, it's like a whole production. I just want to hear her sing. And I'd like her to sing some, you know, I like country music. I would like her to sing some country songs that, that I would like, that my mother would like. And I don't know. It's just, um, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. I know she's an awesome singer. Awesome. Awesome singer. But it's just so like 
I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so here's who I like. I love Maddie. Maddie, is it Poppy? Now, I can hear her when she's singing. I don't care if she sings brand new key. I like songs like that. It has words that I can understand. So I really like her, and I think she's adorable also. I like, um, I like Michael. Is that his name? Yes, because it's like Michael Jackson. And again, when he sings a good song, I really like that for him. Um, my mother loves Caleb, too. My mother loves Maddie, is her favorite, and she likes Caleb. I think that's her second. I'm not thrilled with Caleb either. If he would sing the good old country songs that I like, I would probably like him more, but... I didn't care for the whole Prince thing with the Prince songs. Um, I, you know, I don't know. So who else is on there? And uh, that too, the season, it, it's like, it's a long time before they get to the top ten. And then all of a sudden, in a couple of weeks, it's over. I would like the audition part to be shorter and longer competition. Longer that. And give them all more weeks. You know, to me, it would be cool if they get to, like, a top ten. Let everybody sing for three weeks. And then knock three out. You know what I mean? I just would like them all to have more exposure. They go through a lot. And their hearts get broken. I would love to see them on there for a little bit longer. So that's all that we're watching right now. But then this summer, I will be watching Big Brother. Absolutely love Big Brother. And I even liked the celebrity one. I didn't think I would, but I ended up liking it. Um, and then I always watch Amazing Race whenever that's on. I love that. And I can't remember what else. But, um, yeah, I just like to watch my shows at night. It's like my one TV break. But I usually... I usually have, like, you know, I always have my computer on, but I do try to go watch with my mother if it's a show she likes. That's the time I say I will be in tonight to watch this with you. But I get up a lot during the commercials just to do stuff. I, I, I'm a commercial worker. <laughs> I like to work during the commercials. And if it's a show she doesn't like, I try to watch it. I have a TV on that I have on right now. And, um... But I, I get involved with what I'm doing, and I end up not really being able to pay attention to it. So I do like to actually go sit, and I crochet while I'm watching. I come up with different uh, stitches and stuff for, for tutorials, videos. So that's what I'm watching, and I, I do get asked a lot, what do you think about this, and what do you think about that? So I told you everything that I wanted you to know. And I'm going to leave it at that. I'm, you know, I'm not going to promise you guys what you're going to get for videos. I just know that I want to try to have a video every day if I can, and it's going to be whatever I can do for that day. I'm going to just end right here. Oh, I wanted to tell you about Derek's trip to Austria. He's home. He's back in Memphis. He went to Austria. I'll just tell you quickly in case some of you know about this person. Of course I didn't, but there's like this very famous tattoo artist that he's like the tattoo artist for the stars. His name is Mario Barth, and his website is, I think, just mariobarth.com. You can look him up if you want to look him up. And he knows the band Mackenzie's Mill, and he wanted them to come to Austria to play for an opening for a medical tattoo facility. He does medical tattoos, and he has, like, invented some kind of an ink that has made him a millionaire. And the band asked Derek if he would come with them, and uh, another drummer that they have, who's one of Derek's best friends. So I was so glad Derek got to go. The whole trip was paid. Everything was included. And they left last Tuesday, and they got back last night, and he had a wonderful time in Austria, except that they were constantly exhausted because of the time difference and the work schedule that they had while they were there. But they, they did that concert. Um, not a concert. They did that gig. It was just a gig. I don't know. I don't know how many people there or what was there, but they, he got a free ride to Austria and all included. And the guy even hired a, a, like a charter bus and had them take tours everywhere. And he just really treated them really good, that Mario guy. So you can let me know in the comments if you've ever heard of Mario Barth. 
If you're into tattoos, you might have heard of him. I never did. And, all right, that's it. I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I, I was confused there because I don't usually say that. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll be back with more soon. I don't know what I say. I'm just not going to say it anymore. I'm hanging up now.